the making sure that the creative and cultural success that is Britain today spreads yet more to all parts of the country is absolutely central to the mission that we have in this government. And that can't be done without a thriving and growing regional theatre network, and the Mercury is part of that. And the Mercury, under the inspirational leadership of Steve Mannix and Daniel Buckmore, is uh, a fanta fantastic asset for Colchester. Not just great shows, attracting visitors to all uh, tourists, and in with investment, but giving employment opportunities and apprenticeships, and as well as doing great outreach work in some of our more deprived communities. But the creative industries have a vital ro ro role to play uh, in the e economic growth of Essex, which is close to our hearts. And we believe that part of that plan is the Mercury plans, uh, which we are very pleased to kickstart uh, so that it gets more joint working across the county. We are perfectly placed within the town to be a brilliant hub, a location, a place where people will come and meet and connect with the, the, the artistic activity that we've got going on in the building. There's glazing, there's permeability, uh, the way that the, the, way that the, the, the enhanced uh, audience facilities uh, connect with the public realm around the building. I think that Steve, Daniel and the team have put together some really ambitious plans for the theatre and plans that we're really pleased to be able to support. And that development will really help to transform the theatre. Not just its artistic ambitions, but also in its capacity to support emerging talent. So the Mercury Theatre will be like the Backstage Centre and like the Royal Opera House in Firfleet in the south. A modern jewel in Essex cultural crown.